Hello, this is Jeremy from Coral View, welcoming you back to another episode of CVTV. Today we will be covering the maintenance and troubleshooting of the Reef Octopus Varius and RODC Variable Speed Pumps. The Reef Octopus Variable Speed Pump consists of three main components. A power supply, a controller box, and the pump. All three of these are necessary for the pump to operate. If the pump does not work, we need to look into all three of these parts to narrow down the source of the problem. On average, you should clean and inspect your Reef Octopus DC pump every four to six months. A soak in a mild solution of vinegar and water, removing the impeller, and inspecting it for a buildup, debris, or damage will keep your pump running in peak performance. To disassemble the pump and service the impeller could not be any easier. There are no tools required, simply remove the pump base by sliding it back towards the rear of the pump. Next, grab the volute cover and rotate the volute housing counterclockwise off of the pump, exposing the impeller. To remove the impeller, grab the sides of the white shield and gently pull outward. Sometimes it helps by gently rocking side by side, loosening it from its seating. Before inserting the impeller into the pump cavity, please make sure the front drive bushing is fully inserted into the white shield. Ensure that the slit on the shield lines up with the cooling channel on the pump and carefully insert it into the pump cavity. Try not to allow the impeller to jet back into the back of the pump, possibly damaging the impeller or the rear drive bearing. Before installing the volute, make sure that the impeller is fully inserted into the pump and that the shield is seated properly. With the volute rotated 15 degrees counterclockwise from the intended position, push the volute onto the front of the pump and turn clockwise to lock. Slide the pump base back onto the foot of the pump to complete the assembly. Now here are some troubleshooting tips for the most common issues. My Reef Octopus DC pump controller is not working. It is connected, but the lights are off. What should I do? Check to make sure the light on the power supply is illuminated and remains a solid green state. If not, inspect the power cord to ensure that it is fully inserted into the power brick. Also, make sure that the power socket is active. Grab another power cord from a number of appliances and see if the cord itself is at fault. My pump works, but it seems a bit sluggish. What could it be? Usually this is a sign that the pump requires maintenance. To obtain optimal performance and long life, the RODC and Varios pumps need to be cleaned on a regular basis. This means taking the pump completely apart, cleaning the impellers, and inspecting all wearable components. Over several years, you may need to replace the impeller to retain performance it once had. Don't forget when maintaining skimmer pumps that the air intake, also known as the Venturi, is clean of any salt creep or mineral buildup that will obstruct the intake of air to the protein skimmer. My pump will not operate. What is wrong with it? Please remove the pump and completely disassemble it. Make sure that all components are clean and in good working condition. And assemble the pump again following the instructions in the beginning of this video. Make sure that the front bushing is fully inserted into the white shield, which will trigger the controller to power down the pump. If you are still experiencing issues with your Reef Octopus pump, or have any technical questions that you wish to ask, please head on over to www.coralview.com forward slash support and submit a support ticket. If you are in need of replacement parts, please head on over to www.coralview.com for a complete list of all available parts. If you have any comments or tips to share with fellow reefers, feel free to leave them there below. If this is your first time joining us, hit that subscribe button as we often release new videos related to reefing. Thank you again for watching CVTV and see you next time.